Good morning, everyone. It's Allison Sullivan with Stamp Crazy with Allison. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in New Westminster, British Columbia on the west coast of Canada. So welcome. I'm here for my regular live at 10 a.m. on a Sunday morning at specific time. So some of you join me live, which I really appreciate, and many of you uh, catch up later on the replay. So if you're catching up on a replay, please leave a comment so I know that you've seen my recording. I'm just going to wait for people to pop on and uh, confirm that they can hear me. So there we go, Keisha. Good morning, Keisha. I don't have my, I usually have my iPad down here. And that's how I check to make sure that I have audio. Can you confirm, Keisha, that I have audio this morning? Thanks, hon. Let me know that if you can hear me, please. I hope so. I'll wait for Keisha. She'll let me know. Anyway, today is a very brisk day. Um, it's all good. Thanks, love. Um, okay, so somebody, I was just going to talk about the weather because the weather is a hot topic. <laughs> no, it's a cold topic because I have so many of you that join me from all over and oh good. And uh, I think it's minus 10 in Vancouver this morning. That's Celsius. Uh, I don't know what Fahrenheit is. Uh, it's cold. But I have lots of friends in Alberta that are suffering through, I don't even know how these numbers exist, but like minus 60. So I hope they're keeping safe and as warm as possible. Um, my Facebook user, I can't see where you, what your name is, Facebook user. You have to give permission for StreamYard to see your name. So I am so sorry that I can't see your name. Might, it's not going to be, um, hi Ellie, um, another Facebook user, good morning. So those of you that are on my Facebook group, so you're probably watching from Border Buddies, um, either give permission or just type in your name, like, uh, hi, it's so-and-so, okay? Minus 21 in Kamloops. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. It was minus 25, I think, out by my son. He lives about an hour's drive from me, just in the valley in Vancouver. And uh, I think it was minus 28 there the other day with the wind chill. It's nuts. That's nuts. nuts. Oh, okay, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to move my screen over here where I can see it and I'm going to click on to my there we go so now we're on the screen where I share our project so let's talk about what we're going to work on today <clears throat> I'm going to be using let me grab my book here find it I'm going to put a purple tab on it. There we go. We're going to use this big mega suite called Perennial Lavender, which is gorgeous. Lots of purples. Hi, Diane. There you are. Uh, it's an extra hot chocolate or tea day. It is, Keisha. It's crazy. Hot chocolate would be good or a, a chai tea. I think that would be even better. Anyway, it's a mega suite. Now, I call it a mega suite because it's got more than one bundle. And I really want you to look at each of these bundles. I'll show you them in a sec. It also has gorgeous designer series paper. It has um, the purple fine shimmer gems. These are really pretty. And then it's got these little punched out butterflies and they're paper. So um, you can color them, which is really cool. And then if you turn the page to page 24 and 25, you'll see even more samples and you'll see the stamps and the dies in a little bit bigger presentation. So that's what we're going to play with today. It's also a suite that I am using in my catalog launch, which is on February the 3rd. It's on Facebook, but um, most of you, of course, have Facebook because you're watching me on Facebook, but some of you don't. And if you don't, um, that's okay. We will be recording them. We can You can watch live or you can watch the recordings later because we'll send you them um, and you can watch them. We'll upload them to a private place on YouTube. Okay. So let me show you what comes with the class. We're going to be sending you the DSP. You're going to get uh, six full sheets. Look at these beautiful designs. Now you're going to get six of these, but we're going to be cutting them to six by 12 so we can mail them for you. Otherwise it would cost 
you know, you know, Canada Post. It would cost way too much to mail them to you. So these are gorgeous. I love both sides of these. I really love just the muted side. Okay, so you're going to get half a pack of designer series paper. You're going to get a full package of the gems. And you're going to get a sheet of the butterflies. And we're going to send you the materials, the, so the consumables, for you to create six unique cards. So there's six projects we're going to be making. Okay, so that's February 3rd. It's $50, but you get your goodie bag and your six projects. So today we're going to be using a few of the products. Let me show you here. We're going to have got the painted lavender stamps and dies. Now I've taken out most of the dies, so that's why they're missing. And we're going to use the perennial postage. Love, 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 love these dies. The dies are my favorite part. Okay. Nice words but I love the dice. So we're going to be using both of those. So let's get started on our project. I have started with Fresh Freesia. Lots of purples. If you're a purple person. Hi, Linda. Good morning. Nice to see you. Are you bundled up at home a couple blocks away? Hope so. Um, I love purple. And so this sweet, that's what spoke to me was the purple. <laughs> so we've got uh, fresh fusion. Now what I did was I went ahead because I have to use the uh, stamp and cut and emboss the large one. I went ahead and embossed the front with the um, uh, oh gosh it's not I've got I picked up the wrong I picked up the wrong word here the wrong uh, folder it's not the exposed brick. Help me you guys what's it called timeless something it's really cool. I'll hold it up for you to see. Look at that. It's got all the really cool. Okay. So um, I've already gone ahead and done that just because it's easier than me getting up and going over it on my machine. Okay. So this is just a standard card, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Okay. We are going to be making a landscape card today. The next thing I did was I grabbed a piece of that designer series paper, which I love. And... Here it is here and I cut it to I think it's four five and a quarter by four and then I took the largest die well sorry second largest die out of the postage perennial postage love these okay again you need the regular size stamp and cut and emboss okay so it's just too wide to go through the mini so I went ahead and I cut that out um, ahead of time also I love this. Keep this. This frame is awesome. I'll keep the frames because you can use them again. Put that out of the way. Okay, so that's all I've done. That's all I did ahead of time. Everything else we're going to do together. Okay, so I can go ahead and glue that on, which I'm going to do. How's everybody doing? Hi, Margaret, North Carolina. Uh, deliver you guys delivered your pants. Ah, excited. That's awesome. I'm glad. You've got your project products and you can make your car, the card. And I'm going to show you some other samples too, right? It's hard to pick a side of the DSP. I think that's the hardest thing for people, at least for me. It's like, oh, which side should I use? So I'm just going to center that. I had my cataract surgery. If, for those of you who are my regular followers, I had it on Thursday. And um, I went in the kitchen. I think it was the next day or maybe the day after. And I thought, I was making tea and I thought, wow, is it ever bright in here? Why is it so bright? Did Des change the light bulbs? And it's really bright in here right now. <laughs> and it's because I can see. That's the difference. Plus I can see my hands and all my wrinkles. Ooh. Sometimes it's better not to be able to see. Okay, so we're just going to set that aside, okay? And the next step, I want to grab a piece of basic white and I'm going to be using let's grab a, I'm going to use this stamps okay and I'm also going to be using this one but for now I'm going to use this one so I've got two colors here again purple Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape and I'm going to ink up Highland Heather now 
I couldn't believe this. You guys are going to gasp. I needed to re-ink my Gorgeous Grape. I don't have a re-inker for Gorgeous Grape. I mean, I don't even know how this is possible. So it's not quite as juicy as I would like. I'm going to take a dauber, and I'm going to try and get as much ink as I can. Because I want to add a two-tone to this. Okay, so I'm just going to, on the very bottom here, I'm just going to add some darker. It's probably not going to be as distinctive as it would be if... Um, it was a little bit better inked. Okay, and then just sort of dot it on there. I'm just looking for a um, two-tone, if I can get it. Might not be quite as good. Now, in person, there is two tones here. You can see both of them. Okay, maybe not so much on a camera. So for this guy, we're gonna take one of the dies. Don't you love it when the die cuts out the image? Love. And so it doesn't move around, I've just got repositionable tape and I'm just gonna tape that down so that when I put it through the mini cut and emboss, it's gonna, it's not gonna shift, okay? So the next thing I wanna do is I want to stamp this image. We talked about it a minute ago, this one here. And I'm gonna use Lost Lagoon. And the reason I'm gonna use Lost Lagoon is the colors that go with the designer series paper, Lost Lagoon is one of them, but also Shaded Spruce. And I just didn't want to go that dark with Shaded Spruce. Lost Lagoon is kind of a blue green. So it's kind of blue and it's kind of green. Okay. Hi from Texas. We're trying out spending a winter month here. Oh gosh. Cold wave coming tonight down to 29 Fahrenheit. 29 Fahrenheit. Okay. That's below zero. Ooh, in Texas. Ooh. Now, I know Texas is a huge state. So, you know, there's different temps depending on where you are. My family is a family in Austin. I don't know what the temp is there. But um, I know it's just like, I don't have anyone on. Do I, oh, do I have anyone on here from Alberta? Somebody said it was minus 41. I'm thinking that they might be in Alberta. But it's nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. Of course, and in Vancouver, we don't really, I mean, we get cold, but this is quite the cold snap. All right, and then the other night, it started to snow, but the problem was it snowed, and as it hit the ground, it froze. So it was just like a skating rink out front, and it was during rush hour or commuting time, and I live on a side street, Nobody comes down my side street unless they're going to the school. But I guess they were being diverted down our street or they felt they should be diverted down our street. And I can't, I think I saw eight rear renders right in front of my house because we live on, because it's a hill um, in Vancouver. If you're not aware, it's sort of like San Francisco with snow. <laughs> it can be quite treacherous. Anyway, I felt badly for everybody. And then they get out of their cars and as soon as their foot hit the ground, it, it would they, they would go, you know, um, head first or butt first or leg first or hip first um, onto the ice. It was really awful. And the firefighters came and um, they fell. There were five of them. They were falling all over. It was like watching Bambi on ice. But they brought sand and they put it down and that really helped. But, oh, my gosh, it's just so crazy. So all I'm doing, you guys, is running those through the mini stamp and cut and emboss so i'll put those aside and then let's cut some more pieces here i'm going to grab some what have i got here i've got some lost lagoon and this is a really cool
There we go. I think what happens is my table shakes a bit. No sound. Oh my gosh. My back, do you have sound? I'm going to wait for Keisha to tell me what's going on. Oh, the best laid plans. Uh, I wondered what happened. <laughs> Stick with me, guys. It's all better now. Thanks, Linda. So I've got sound and I flip back to my project, right? Oh, my gosh. I think what happened was the table shook too much. I'm going to have to tighten my legs. And sometimes it affects the camera and then it flips off. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, you guys, but thanks for letting me know. Appreciate it. Okay, so I don't know where we left off. All I'm doing is cutting out bits, okay? And then the next thing I want to cut out is um, another piece of basic white. And I'm going with the this size of the postage stamp, the one from the, um, what's it called? Perennial postage. I really like, have you guys noticed that Stampin' Up! has started to name things and they kind of go together so it's not so complicated? The dies and the, and the stamps are called the same thing. Oh, you know, that only took how many years? But I love it. Oh, I'm gonna try to be careful so that I don't shake my table, you guys. So I've got that. I'm gonna show you it all um, before we start putting it together. I'm gonna remind you what I've cut, okay? And then the last thing I wanna cut is another piece of Lost Lagoon. And this one, okay, which kind of really looks like the looks like rosemary, I think, almost. Oops. Now I'm so afraid I'm gonna do something. I'm afraid to run it through my machine. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Boy, you're cold out where you are, eh, kid? You live near my son. It was really cold the other day. It was so cold. They bought a house at the end of September. And on Friday, they woke up and their pipes had frozen, which I still can't figure out if their house is warm, why it froze, and they turned had turned off the outside water. Anyway, good thing they're young. I don't think they've got it back yet. They're warming their pipes, but they've got to wait till it warms up. I think tomorrow is a day it's going to warm up. Okay, so we've got that rosemary sprig. I'd already had this one cut out out of... Um, gorgeous grape we've got our little postage stamp and then we cut out this one here this is a really neat i like this one that's cute and then we cut this one out i promised i'd show you this one so this one is like this but it cuts out two at a time just gonna poke that one of them faces one way and the other one faces the other way okay so there we go and i said hello to everybody this morning brutal yeah uh where are they they're in mission so they're not quite as far down the road as you you're in chilliwack i think aren't you cindy or are you in abbotsford i can't remember chilliwack i think yeah you're a little bit further on um but yeah brutal he said he, oh, and they just adopted a dog and uh, he took her for a walk and he said he had to turn around. It was too cold for the dog and it was too cold for him. And he is not, a, you know, he's a person who can handle the cold. But when he went through training in Regina for six months um, and we went to his graduation, it was um, minus Ellie, I think, was it minus 28 or something during his graduation? I thought, oh my gosh. And they had to go out and train in that. So he said, he likened the other day to Regina. That's what he said. He says it was like Regina. Oh. All right. So here's all our bits. Um, yeah, chill back. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of build a little stack of elements. So this one here, I'm going to take my lavender and I'm going to glue it to the to here so it so basically I'm creating a stem of lilacs okay and I'm just gonna honestly I find the easiest thing for me is to just use tape now if you use um, stamp and seal then you that would be the best but I don't use stamp and steel I use my glue and it takes a bit too long for me to let it set 
So now I'm just going to kind of lay some things down, deciding where I want these extra little elements. I really love this one. I think it's my fave. I'm just going to let that kind of hang off. And then I want to add a little bit of purple here. Maybe like that. Just play with it and decide how you want it. Now I've noticed that this one and this one are the same, so I don't want that. I want the opposite. Because when you cut it out, it cuts off or sorry, it cuts out two that are um, mirror images. So once I've got all that, then I just kind of glue it down. You could use, um, what do you call it, uh, tear and tape? Yeah, you could use that too. That would hold all this down. I'm just trying to hold that down. And I'm going to be using dimensionals, so I can put a whole bunch of dimensionals all on, and that's going to hold those in place too. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Dogs have only been out to potty. No, it's like walking. No, it's too cold for them right? Like it's just crazy, especially out you. And then the wind. I mean, there's the air temp and then there's the feels like temp, right? Wind chill. Gosh, they had to cancel all those flights out of Alberta, out of Edmonton, didn't they? Because it was too cold to fly out of the airport. I think it was minus 69 or something. It was, cra it was something crazy. It was like, it was worse than the Antarctic. Okay, so that's what we've got here. Our little bunch of lavender and other little bits okay now we'll bring in our card this is where we started remember we've already gone ahead and embossed our fresh freesia then we've cut out the postage second largest one and then we're going to be placing this on with a saying and I chose happy mother's day and I think I put the label on a little crooked so yeah it's a little crooked I can't even blame my eyes so we're just gonna have to live with it there we go good enough sometimes you just have to go for it not worry too much okay I'm gonna glue this one down Oh, don't you love the, how it matches up? I love that. Okay, and then remember, we have put all the um, Stampin' Dimensionals on here. So here's a tip. Just give it a press, and the back will come off if you're having difficulty. So just use your nail to kind of flick those off. And when my son's fence broke, one of the panels on the back in the backyard, the fence came down. I said to him, your adoptee, who's four and will have a lovely life with them, um, is probably thinking to herself, wow, no water, no fence. Am I really in the right place? <laughs> She'll be wanting to go back. Okay. Now, I want to add a little bit of um, linen thread. I think um, I have lavender upstairs in my bathroom, like a bunch of lavender, and it's wrapped in kind of jute, you know, got a little jute ribbon, and it um, sort of goes with lavender when you buy it. Did you have any downtime with cataract surgery? I'm have, thinking of having it done. I would highly recommend it, Linda. Um, downtime, no. Um, I got it done on Thursday and I came home and of course you have to wear the patch, but just until you see the dock the next day. So that wasn't too bad. It was hard to see because my only other, my other eye that I didn't get done, it had the retina detachment. So I have not, I, my vision isn't great. So I think for most people, it's not even as bad because they can see they with their glasses or whatever, they can at least see out of their other eye and I can't. So it was a bit, it was a bit harder for me um, because it was my technically my good eye. So that was on Thursday. And then Friday morning, first thing, like really early, like eight in the morning, I went to the eye surgeon and he checked me over, took the patch off. Um, and it is, it is like, 
I can't believe it. I've been so happy. I can see the TV. I can read the subtitles. I can see the 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 actors without being blurry. Um, and it's so bright, Linda. Everything is so much brighter. So please don't hesitate. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. That's my commercial for getting cataract surgery. <laughs> so here's our card. Now, we need something to make it a little bit prettier, right? Let's add some of these fantastic gems. Why is there such a delay in your detached retina? Um, it is, uh, there is no delay. Um, it just, it reattached. So I'm sorry, it's not, it's no longer detached. But um, unfortunately, it happened during the first month of COVID. Um, the offices were closed for three weeks. And by the time I got in to see my regular ophthalmologist, um, it had, it was detached. So I had a procedure to attach it. So it is attached, but my eyesight is 2070 or something. And it's like, you know, when you have an old house and you have single pane glass, that's what my eye looks like when I close my good eye and I'm looking just with my bad eye, I call it. It's as good as it'll get. It's wavy. So it's like looking through a single pane glass. So for me, it's it's more of a challenge. Um, no, my doctor is Dr. Dollarwall in Burnaby. Thank you, Margaret. Now you've got your all your bits. Now let me show you some other. You want to see some other samples with this fantastic set? Of course you do. Okay, so here's one. Now, this is the butterflies I was talking about. You can color these if you want. Um, there's the DSP. Um, this one's got a lot of things that are not part of the, the set, but I wanted to show you the butterfly. Isn't that pretty? Because it's purple too. It's like purple, pretty. Here's another one. And that's a colored, we've got the colored butterfly there. And that's so easy to do. You can do it with blending, your blending brush and the inks. Thanks, Cindy. Yeah, it is sad, but uh, I just, I'm grateful I have some vision, right? And good news, it was not my dominant eye. Did you guys know that you have a dominant eye and a dominant, like, just like a dominant hand? Um, I have, a, you have a dominant eye and very lucky that the eye that's good, that I just had my cataract done on, is my good eye. And it's dominant and it programmed my brain. So it took over a lot of functions, which was nice. Um, I made this one. It's like a step card, right? A faux step. Now, did I make this one or did my sister make this one? I think I'm, I can't remember. I think I did make this one. My sister sent me a really cool one, but I think this is the one that I made. Anyway, just a lot of cutout things and you can cut out the butterflies. And I didn't love it. I was going to use it in my class, but I didn't love it. So I just used it. Okay. All right. So those are some of the uh, perennial lavender cards. Um, would you like to see some other cards um, that I got as swaps? Let me show you. Let me show you because it's a kind of a sharing kind of day. I'm really excited. I have, a sis I have two sisters that stamp. They're demonstrators too in Ontario. And my sister Ellie, I don't have this stamp set, Blueberry Bunches. I don't own it. And um, she sent me two cards the other day. Let me show you. Here it is. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. You can't see this, but this has got Wink Estella. Okay. Here's the other one. So pretty. Love it. Looks like a blueberry bushel, doesn't it? Um, let me... Oh, I got one more card I can show you that's lavender. My sister Mo made this one. Is that cool? I have no idea how she did this technique. Don't ask me. I don't know. It's kind of brilliant. Oh, my poor little butterfly got squished. But there's an example of coloring the whoop, coloring the butterfly with the purples in the blending brushes, right? I agree, Cynthia. Thank you. Exactly. Thank heavens there are people that can make us as, I mean, he, they did their best with my eye. 
and I can see out of it. It's just not great. Okay, so I've, we've talked about the class, right? The perennial class, but let me show you some other ones. We are also have two add-on classes. One of them is the Sending Love Bundle. Now you might look at this and think, oh yeah, whatever. Trust me, it's absolutely adorable. I can't show you my cards, of course, because they're for the class, but here's one that I can show you that I got in a swap. Look at the mailbox. And it cuts out the little, cuts out the little, um envelopes and these fantastic embellishments are so cute it's got the cancelled stamp and then look this looks familiar doesn't it that's that perennial postage so pretty okay so there's an add-on class for that so check that out and then the last add-on class is oh where are you here you are the second class is the trusty tools now, the trusty tools are fantastic, but if you buy the bundle, we're going to give you a deal, um, and you're also going to earn the paper for free from the celebration, right? Because when you spend $60 in Canada, you can pick a free reward. So let's look at some of those. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? Love. This one's got the same sentiment. You're the most awesome dad. There's the DSP. Just a little strip of that. Here's another one. Really cool. Love this. If you use the metal uh, 3D embossing folder, it goes beautifully with this. And then I made this one on a live a little while ago. So check it out. Go back and look at through my lives. I show you how you can make the drill with the two different colors. You've got the toolkit and all the little tools that we colored and then of course this is like a pegboard right and then there's the metal so cool you had cancer oh no you can see oh thank you oh that's so oh cynthia i'm glad you shared that thank you for sharing that i think that we do have to be grateful for what we have and that's what i said to my surgeon when he fixed my retina like he reattached it and I didn't need the retina surgery, which I've heard is quite horrendous and difficult. I only needed the, they injected a gas bubble in my eye and it pushed my retina back into place. And then they used laser to stitch it off. It's, it's fun. I don't know how they do it. It's like, I don't know. They're half surgeons, half seamstresses. Um, you can craft and you can see, ah, that's awesome. We do, we do. I think that sometimes it's always a good reminder, but Linda, if you have any questions, friend, you just um, you just uh, private message me, okay, about your um, about the cataract. I depended on my sister and a friend, Diane. You know Diane, um, who talked me off the ledge about going in for my cataract. <laughs> because when you only have when you feel like you only have one eye that you can see out of, well, you worry even more. But it was my. They both said it's a snap. It's easy. Don't even worry about it. So. Okay, I won't. So shall we go back over? I'm gonna move you guys back over here to my here, and then we're going to do this, and then let me just zero in on that a bit more so you can see it. There we go. All right. Um, buckles. Yes, that's a more see. Yeah, you know, whoever Facebook user is. Um, yes, that's. I wasn't that bad. I didn't need the buckles. Oh my gosh. I know. And I, once you've had one, you're kind of susceptible to the other one going. But anyway, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to enjoy my fabulous new eye with bright. I can see. And maybe I can start making cards that aren't crooked because that was another thing. <laughs> they were always crooked. All right, guys. So thanks for joining me today. Uh, I will see you again. See you. I'll see you. I'll see you again on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, if you can't make it live, please watch my recording. And you can also find all my videos on our Facebook page, Stamp Crazy with Allison. Or you can nip over to YouTube and check and just search for Stamp Crazy with Allison. Thanks. See you Wednesday, you guys. I'm going to enjoy my day. You guys take care. Um, have, get some creative time in. Have some fun. Okay, you guys. Bye for now and stay warm and safe.